So often, schools serve the cheaper and unhealthier alternative. There was not a single thing that I would have wanted my children to eat. We all know there's an obesity crisis. Kids, alas, no exception. The CDC says one-third, nearly one-third of all American kids between the ages of 2 and 11 are obese. What are our schools doing to turn it around? Joining me now, Alex Jamison, spokesperson for the New York Coalition for Healthy School Food Program. I love what you're doing. Tell us what you're doing to get healthy foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains into the schools and get kids to eat them. So we're working with the schools to provide better food sources for the kids, and we've tested hundreds of recipes with the kids, all plant-based hot entrees, providing them with also educational and nutritional information every single day. We have wellness wake-up calls, which are delicious little tidbits of information that go out over the PA system. So kids are actually getting nutritional information and healthy plant-based meals in the cafeterias. Now, I understand because a lot of times there's a lot of dairy products for kids which are very fattening, Mm -hmm. and it's loaded with fat. Now there's an alternative that's coming up in terms of tofu. Tofu is finally going to be accepted as a protein source for the school lunch program, which is great. And water is actually going to be required to be available to the kids in the lunchroom. Oh, yeah. The problem is they don't require a cup to be given. So if there is a water fountain, the kids still don't have a cup to get it. And most Get them a cup for water!